A special series we're launching today, Your Health, and we're starting with the latest breakthroughs when it comes to medicine, care, and treatments. That's right. I recently visited the Mount Sinai Institute for Next Generation Healthcare. It's here in New York, and we got an exclusive look at what they're calling Lab 100. It's a place that promises to rev revolutionize your health care. Well, welcome to Lab 100. Wow. So this is the place, huh? A visit to Lab 100 starts with the basics. I think it's going to be 110 over 70. 110 over 70. Yes. I have tricky veins. Okay. Pleasure doing business you with you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Including a thorough review of my pre-submitted medical history. This is like, this is your life. This right is your here. life. The writing is literally on the wall. <laughs> so uh, so your sleep is poor. Yes, uh, it is. You could probably decrease your added sugars. Is sugar it. not a food group? Sugar is not a food group. In my life, it is. And before I knew it, I was in uncharted territory. Join me in the future of healthcare? Yes, I am ready. <laughs> Hope we don't have to weigh me. Do we have to weigh me? Not only are we going to weigh you, we're going to weigh you twice. Oh, great. <laughs> Mount Sinai doctors want to treat patients by examining the whole picture, both inside and outside. This is our 3D body surface scanner. Okay. It's a scale, it's a turntable, and there's a camera embedded in here. Sounds fun. A 3D scan captures thousands of measurements from waist circumference to bicep girth. Oh, what's this? All right, this next station is body composition. Using state-of-the-art technology, physicians analyze where you are and where you may be heading. This tells us your percentages, fat, protein, mineral, and water. Wow. Lab 100 goes well beyond the standard physical, measuring strength. Give it a squeeze as hard as you can. As well as numerous cognitive tests to predict early signs of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. This is our dexterity station. Okay. We're gonna measure your manual dexterity. I'm gonna ask you to place each of these pegs in the holes as quickly as you can, and then take them out again one by one. This test times how long it takes you to do this as quickly and as accurately as possible. All right, here we go. This is your performance oh, wow. compared to our monthly high performer here. So we'll see how you're doing. Oh my gosh, I'm like in a race here. Oh yeah, I beat this person. <laughs> Savannah, <laughs> you're a new dexterity player. I queen. am ambidextrous. <laughs> Despite soaring through the dexterity portion, the highlight of the day right there, the high didn't last long. This is balance. Balance is one of the most important aspects of daily life. We know that half of accidental deaths in the elderly are due to balance-related falls. What we're measuring is your body's sway in different directions as you're okay. standing still. Has anyone ever fallen off? Not bad, <laughs> not too bad. You're in the 11th percentile. <laughs> that doesn't sound too good. This means there's room for improvement. Yeah. Time for the big reveal. All right, we're gonna tap into the final consultation, okay. and this is gonna bring up all the data we collected about you during the visit. Wow. The point of this is to have a conversation about what's going well, what isn't going so well. The goal is that you'll walk out of here with an actionable plan. Blood draw. Wow, this is great. <laughs> this is a lot of blue. Blue is good, red is bad. So I'm liking everything here. Body composition, you're doing fair with your body mass yeah. and your skeletal muscle mass is excellent. So proportionally speaking, you're a lot of muscle and you're lean, that's great. Your cognition is excellent. Oh, good. 99.8 percentile. So balance, it seems to be an issue for you. Yeah. You're low average, but you're also not off the scale in the negative direction. So I'm not concerned that there's a medical issue going on. How does this feel? How, do you, how are you Good. feeling? Good. I feel relieved. So if you come back for a second visit, then you'll get a chart that says what has gone up, what has gone down, and you can kind of measure your progress. Exactly. The point is to give our patients visibility into their own health. Great. We should mention Lab 100 is still in its testing phase. It's not open to the public yet, and we want to give a big thanks, of course, to Dr. David Stark and the folks at Mount Sinai for showing us around. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.